I am going to tell you a story about my experience in attempting my first ever Nuzlocke. This has got to be the biggest fail ever. If you have never played a Nuzlocke before, in a really quick summary, you can only catch one Pokemon per area, and if your Pokemon faints, it dies. Another big detail is I have to give every Pokemon I own a nickname. So what this does is I get attached to the Pokemon on my team. Even if I only catch rats, birds, and bugs, they will still mean something to me. As someone who wants to spice up their Pokemon gaming experience, this was perfect for me. And I wanted to be that guy to say, I charged through the whole game with all my Pokemon on my side on my first attempt, and I will be the champion. Let's take it to the beginning. All right, first Nuzlocke. Man, this is exciting. I chose the game Fire Red because it's a game I fondly remember playing as a kid. To start the game, I walked as fast as I can to the lab. I would run, but my mom hasn't given me running shoes yet. I knew what starter I wanted and picked Squirtle. I named him Bubbles. We're gonna get attached now. Bubbles and I immediately hit it off and dreamed of winning the Pokemon League. And right away, we had our first challenge. But there was some doubt. I lose right now, I'm done. I have to start all over. We did have a scare, but we proved our resilience and were capable of anything. But we weren't going to do it alone. So to buff out our team, I went to Route 22 and the first Pokemon I saw was a Mankey. I caught it and was super excited to have this pig monkey on my team. I named it Potassium because monkeys like bananas. How do you even spell Potassium? It's a stupid name, but I knew my minerals and wanted to show off. I even misspelled potassium. So everyone, meet potassium with an E. After the battle, I made sure to not take any chances and went to the Pokemon Center. Only the best for my bubbles and potassium with an E. However, it wasn't going to be nearly enough. Right away, I went to Route 2 and added a new member to the team. Ratata, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love Remy. And now, after a little bit of training, the four of us decided it was finally time to take on the Viridian Forest. Little did we realize our dreams would quickly go to sh- After exploring the forest a little bit, I ran into the first trainer. If you want to call him that. The kid's name was Bugcatcher Rick. He probably just got off the school bus, quickly ate his severely processed mac and cheese his mom made him, then went to the forest to disrupt natural habitat. He was so annoying, but I figured I would humor him with the battle, then be on my way. I sent out my boy Bubbles, and he sent out a Weedle. I could have stepped on the thing, but Bubbles could use the experience. Bubbles attacked first, then the bug used Poison Stink, and sure enough, Bubbles got poisoned. I was worried, pissed off, and all the other negative emotions. I mean, I was certain this little shit planned us all along and wanted to feed off my pain. So being the responsible trainer I am, I returned Bubbles and brought out Potassium with me. He stomped the Weedle to the ground, but before that happened, he was poisoned too. Are you kidding me? Is this even legal? This devil child intentionally made these creatures whom I am the legal guardian of incredibly ill. Need I remind you if either Bubbles or Potassium with me faint, they actually die. Dude, this, this sucks. I did defeat the brat, but at what cost? In a frantic state of mind, my only solution was to rush to the Pokemon Center as fast as I can. But before I can even leave the forest... No, 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 no. No! Potassium with knee fainted. I was devastated, but I couldn't wallow in my sadness yet because I still had to save Bubbles. My heart's pounding, my heart's pounding. With everything I had left, I tried to save him. Bubbles was gone. My heart sunk. I felt like I failed as a Pokemon trainer. These creatures looked up to me and we dreamed of winning the Pokemon League together. But I let them down. What's even worse is I forgot that I picked up a potion right before this battle. And if I kept going in the forest, there was an antidote waiting to heal one of my Pokemon. Of course. Things were rough after that. I couldn't help but blame myself. What was I supposed to do? This is my Pokemon right now. I, re I really screwed this up, didn't I? After three minutes of grieving, Remy and I realized that Potassium with an E and Bubbles would still want us to follow our dreams and make them proud. So we went back to the Viridian Forest and... Remy died. That's my first Nuzlocke, yeah! Clearly I wasn't ready for this challenge, but I did learn from my experience. So after all that, there's only one thing left to do. Restart and avenge bubbles.